In a recent episode of his podcast, Joe Rogan talked about the COVID-19 vaccine. I know, brace yourself, right? And what he says, like the reasoning that he gives for him personally not wanting to get vaccinated is, uh, to be frank, pretty bizarre, pretty weird. Take a look. You taking that vaccine? No. Yeah. No, I, I just, I mean, I would if I felt like I needed it. But I just, I just feel like if you maintain your health, and I think for some people it's important. Are, I think for some people it's good. Are they gonna, are they gonna make people take it in order to go overseas? I'm worried about that. I don't like that. I don't like needles. That's I like. I don't like. But I don't. Also, I want to know how this, how people fare over X amount of months. Like, what happens in six months after the vaccine? When? How long does it last for? Do you need it again next year? That's a big yikes. Big yikes. So we'll start with the positives. Um, I have given Joe Rogan credit in the past because when he said something incorrect or harmful, he has corrected the record. That's good. I applaud him for doing that. And also, I will you know note that he didn't explicitly say that the vaccine is unsafe. However, what he said here is harmful. Because you're not just talking to like one or two people in your studio. You're talking while millions of people watch you. So if you say, I don't think I want to take the vaccine for reasons X, Y, and Z, they might think, oh, well, Joe Rogan doesn't want to get the vaccine, so maybe I won't as well, because his reasoning appeals to me. And if that actually happens, if you influence a good number of people, that could subject them to getting infected and dying potentially. I don't think that he wants that on his conscience. Like, I genuinely believe... He doesn't want to do that, which is why I ask him to correct the record here, because what he said is harmful and not just harmful, but nonsensical. So he says that he would personally get the vaccine, quote, if I felt I needed it. Look, I'm no epidemiologist. I'm not an expert here. I'm willing to admit that. But uh, Joe Rogan needs the vaccine because just two days after he posted this photograph of him with a bunch of his rich, maskless celebrity friends, Dave Chappelle tested positive for COVID-19. Now, I don't know who gave Dave Chappelle COVID-19. Was it Joe Rogan? Was it someone else in that room? Was it Elon Musk? I don't know. But what I do know is that if you do things like this, if you behave irresponsibly during a pandemic and attend a dinner party with friends while nobody is wearing masks, then you do need to get vaccinated. Sorry. It doesn't just affect you. It affects other people. Now, I'll admit that we don't necessarily know yet if you can still transmit the virus to someone else if you're vaccinated. I don't know. Perhaps if you get droplets with COVID-19 on your hand and you touch someone's face. I, I mean, I'm not sure. We're, we're still trying to figure that out. And when I say we, I mean the experts and I'm listening to see what they say. But still, if you behave in this way, you need to get vaccinated. You are one of the prime people that should be vaccinated. And he implied, well, I don't like that they're going to possibly mandate people getting vaccinated if they want to travel internationally. Why not? Do you think it's reasonable to uh, spread your germs and potentially COVID-19 to other countries that get it under control and vice versa? I mean, I think that's a reasonable expectation that if you're going to travel, you are required to do it safely. Now, when he said this, it genuinely made me scratch my head. He said, I just feel like if you maintain your health, then you don't need it. For some people, it's important. I think for some people, it's good. All right, I'm glad that you said that. You know, he's obviously uh, talking to the elderly and the immunocompromised. But that's not the way that it works. Like, coronavirus doesn't just think, oh, well, you know, this dude eats really healthy. He's physically fit, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to infect the next guy. That isn't the way that it works. You can still very much get infected with COVID-19 if you are healthy. And I feel like an adult should know this. Like Joe Rogan, he says stupid things very frequently, but I don't think he's a dumb guy. Like I think there is a level of intelligence that I would expect. And I just got to wonder, like why, why is he skeptical? What's the point of the skepticism? Even if you feel like you didn't need it, what's the harm? It's safe. There's been trials with thousands of participants. Now, millions of people in the United States have been vaccinated. So, what's the reluctance? I mean, this is someone who has talked about how he's taken DMT and drugs on his podcast. And I've enjoyed those shows a lot. So, if you would like, I'm assuming, buy DMT from someone in a parking lot. Some shady dude 
why is the vaccine more scary to you? Like, I, I just, I don't get this line of thinking. I don't get it. Like, everything that we do, there is a risk, right? There's a risk in everything that we do. But the risk with the vaccine is very low. So, you get the vaccine. Maybe your arm hurts for a day. Maybe you feel fatigued. Not all people. But then afterwards, you're immune, 95%. So, I just, I guess... This is just unnecessary, and that's what bothers me. Like, you don't have to say this. You can add a caveat. Look, I don't think I'm going to get it, but I think everyone else should get it. Something like that. Like, some qualifier, so you don't put this out into the world, this idea that, like, we shouldn't be vaccinated. Because right now, you know, trying to build trust with the community who are rightfully skeptical of big pharma and government that's really important. We need people to take this vaccine because we need to stop this pandemic. We need to save lives. So I think that like putting this out into the world, it's counterproductive. It hurts folks and it influences your own audience to do the wrong thing potentially, not take action needed to protect themselves. And I don't think that Joe Rogan wants his own viewers to be hurt by the rhetoric that he uses or the things that he says. So I hope that he corrects the record here and tries to do better. Like, Obviously, if you maintain health, that doesn't make you immune from COVID-19. Obviously. So get the fucking vaccine and take it seriously until you do. Wear masks. Don't go to dinner with other maskless rich people. It's not that hard.